uh, UPS 834, Salt Lake Center, Russia. On the pond 114, contact Salt Lake Center 128.35. Uh, UPS 834, second. Uh, UPS 834, you're asking about the military airspace? I'm asking if there's any military operations that I'm just my help to the east of us around the two to three hundred miles. Atlanta Salt Lake, UPS 948 Heavy, flight level 380. Uh, UPS 948, Salt Lake Center, uh, Russia. Uh, UPS 834, uh, negative. No, uh, no military uh, activity going on tonight. Uh, but you do, do you see something out there? Yeah, I got two, two lights that are uh, kind of circling around each other. It's a far distance. I don't know exactly how far it is. UPSA 34, uh, Roger, stand by. And UPSA 34, you see the lights off to the east? Yeah, they're off and on, and um, they're fairly high speed, but they're just they're at, and they're kind of circling. But as it's been gone now, they're basically zero to one spot. UPSA 34, okay. Um, yeah, I, I worked the shift uh, last night, and we had uh, similar reports. Um, yeah, if you can, um, maybe try and uh, see if you can time uh, the uh, kind of the frequency of when the lights come off and on. Okay. FedEx eighteen seventy nine. Are you seeing anything like that? Negative. FedEx eighteen seventy nine. Roger. Yeah, just uh, keep an eye out. I think it's just uh, at your uh, you know twelve to one o'clock ish. Copy that. And sorry, UPS 834, you said those lights are off to the east, is that correct? Yeah, they're about, they're about due east of us right now. UPS 834, Roger. Yeah, FedEx 1879, it'll be about uh, in, in 12 to uh, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock. All right, we're looking at FedEx 1879. Yeah, they're just lights that are going to be intermittent, uh, white light. Operations. They're back. What's that? They're back. Okay. Cool. I've got it now. You guys say 34, you got it now? Yeah, it's about the 045 from us right now. Just uh, say now. You guys say 34, Roger. In fact, 1879, do you see anything out there now? No, we still don't. That is 1879. Where is FedEx in position relation to UPS 834? And they're just at your, uh, oh, they're about 035 at 30. All right, we look directly to the uh, 2 o'clock to 3 o'clock position, maybe a little bit higher. Uh, we're seeing one to two of them out there, it's really faint. Since uh, 1839, we did uh, finally see one flash out there. About a 15 degrees off our nose. You said 15 degrees uh, right of uh, 12 o'clock. Yeah, about a zero seven zero heading uh, from where we are. And now it's gone. Eight for And uh, UPS 34. Any idea what the altitude might be on any of that? Well, the FedEx is on the bar right at. Twice as high. And EPS 34, you just saw two. Yeah, we saw two, maybe even three. EPS 34, Roger. And UPS 948, uh, do you have a map? Oh, go ahead. UPS 948, I've got another uh, uh, UPS flight that's uh, northbound to Boise. And uh, they are reporting some anomalous uh, white lights that are uh, kind of off 
off and on. Uh, they would be anywhere from your, oh, I would say 1 o'clock to, or I'm sorry, uh, 10 o'clock to 1 o'clock. And I think they're up pretty high, uh, 60,000 feet or so. If you see anything like that, just please let me know. Okay, welcome to the top right now. It's uh, moving at a high rate of speed. There's two of them. UPSC 34, do you have any idea what the general uh, direction might be that they're heading? Right now it's at our 04, no, 060 bearing. If you're to just be orbiting in a circle. And you said 060 orbiting in a circle? Okay, they're, they're uh, going down, but uh, it's probably over, right over the, uh, if it were, if I'd say it's right over those restricted areas, but over Bonneville. They're real faint right now. UPSA 34. And you think UPSA 34, you think they're uh, clear over by the uh, Bonneville VOR? Uh, that's the general direction right now. I can only assess it. All right, UPS 948, do you see anything like that off your, uh, off your uh, 9 o'clock? Uh, not at this time, can you put a count for the eight? Looks like it was about four minutes after the last fighting before we resolve again. Okay. You get 634, okay, thanks. I'm assuming they're off again. Okay, and um, do you confirm that it would be uh, up, up pretty high? Yeah, that's confirmed in FedEx 1879. Okay, yeah, just uh, trying to get a general idea of where in the sky it might be. So if you see it out ahead of you again, please let me know. We'll call FedEx 1879. 952 up uh, 13225. UPS 952. If you, uh, Roger, thanks. And if you would uh, also look off to your, uh, off your, uh, to your left there, um, anywhere from I guess uh, eight to nine, or eight to twelve o'clock, I guess at this point. Um, uh, see if you see any intermittent white lights that might be uh, off and on. Um, maybe fast moving lights out there. Airlines 
um, uh, from Anchorage heading down to uh, Dallas Fort Worth, and uh, they picked it up around the Boise area and something followed them. Basically, at the nine o'clock, trailed them all the way at least to the Colorado border of Utah. Um, it, it was white lights and then turned to red light. But yeah, so kind of interesting. We're just kind of, kind of trying to figure out more about it. Okay, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll keep that. We'll let you know. Center Air Transport 3304. Air Transport 3304, good. Well, you've got our curiosity. I wondered if we might end up in the vicinity of some of that flight activity once we get southeast of Boise on our track. Uh, Air Transport 3304, stand by. Air Transport 3304, um, <clears throat> you're a little bit north of all that. Uh, last night, though, uh, we did have an aircraft in your general area. They're a little bit south of your track, maybe about 30 miles south of your track, uh, and heading down. Uh, they were heading kind of south of Salt Lake area. But anyways, um, yeah, you might see some of that out there. If you would just keep an eye out, it, it would possibly be off to your anywhere from your 12 o'clock to uh, 3 o'clock. And like I said, it's kind of maybe off to the west of the Salt Lake area, and uh, the reports indicate that it might be high altitude, uh, 60,000 feet or so. But yeah, if you see any kind of intermittent white lights moving fast, uh, if you see anything like that out there, just let me know. We'll certainly do that. The light pollution from the moonlight on that direction might hinder that, but we're going to keep our eye out. Yeah, if we see anything, we'll let you know. Thanks, 3304. Yeah, thanks a lot. And you PSA 34, any, uh, any, anything else out there that you see? out there, uh, zero five zero uh, heading. Uh, negative for uh, for UTS nine two. Sorry, I'm letting you down here. I don't. Uh, I haven't seen anything. All right. Uh, yeah, just let me know. And transport thirty three zero four. Yeah, that uh, that light would be anywhere from your twelve o'clock to three o'clock. Okay, and does it appear to be moving? Oh, yeah. It's not moving, it's just changing in intensity with it, uh, with brightness. Okay, and uh, I was, uh, let's see, I was talking to air transport there. Did somebody else uh, call? UPSA 34, did you, uh, did you say something there? Yeah, they're going about five pieces. And I missed the very last of that second. Really bad. They're, they're no, no longer in there right now, but we got a third piece in here, so we're departing uh, 360. 334, Roger, yeah. I'll try, to, I'll try not to bug you any more about it, but you said it was moving fast?
And UPS 9 you haven't seen anything out there? And uh, UPS 9 you sorry, uh, I'm trying to let you down. Uh, we, we've been looking, we haven't seen anything. UPS 9 you okay, yeah, yeah, thanks a lot. And UPS 9 you can now change to my frequency 121.15. 121.15, UPS 9 UPS 834, Salt Lake Center, Russian. On the pond 114, contact Salt Lake Center 128.35. 834, bye. Alexa, UPS 34, you're asking about the military airspace? I'm asking if there's any military operations that I'm just my altitude to the east of around the 200 miles. UPS 948 heavy, level 380. Uh, UPS 948, Salt Lake Center, uh, Russia. Uh, UPS 834, uh, negative. No, uh, no military uh, activity going on tonight. But you do, do you see something out there? Yeah, I got two two lights that are uh, kind of circling around each other. It's a far distance. I don't know exactly how far it is, but it's not normal. PSA 34, uh, Roger, stand by. And you, PSA 34, you see the lights off to the east? Yeah, they're off and on. And, um, they're GPS 34, okay. Um, yeah, I, I worked the shift uh, last night, and we had uh, similar reports. Um, yeah, if you can, um, maybe try and uh, see if you can time uh, the uh, kind of the frequency of when the lights come off and on. FedEx 1879, are you seeing anything like that? Negative, FedEx 1879. Roger, yeah, just uh, keep an eye out. I think it's just uh, at your, uh, you know, 12 to 1 o'clock-ish. Copy that. And sorry, UPS 834, you said those lights are off to the east. Is that correct? Yeah, they're about, they're about due east of us right now. 
Yes, sir. Yeah, FedEx 1879. Are you out uh, in, in 12 to uh, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock? All right, we're looking at FedEx 1879. Yeah, they're just lights that are going to be intermittent uh, white light. UPS 95230. UPS Operation. They're back. What's that? They're back. Okay. Got it now. You did say 34, you got it now. Yeah, it's about the zero four five from us right now. Just uh safe now. You did say 34, Roger. Thanks, 1879, you see anything out there now? No, we still don't. FedEx 1879. They're just at your, uh, oh, they're about 035 at 30. All right, we look directly to the uh, 2 o'clock to 3 o'clock position, maybe a little bit higher. Uh, we're seeing one to two of them out there, it's really faint. We did uh, finally see one flash out there at about a 15 degrees off our nose. You said 15 degrees uh, right of uh, 12 o'clock? Yeah, about a 070 heading uh, from where we are. And now it's gone? Eight for And uh, UPS 8340, any idea what the altitude might be on any of that? Well, the FedEx is off of our right at 1040. Uh, it's just about uh, 140. Uh, it's like it's a double the altitude of that. Twice as high. 
as I. And EPSA 34, you just saw two. UPS 948, change to my frequency 132.25. 3225, UPS 948. So Link uh, 948 from uh, 3225. Uh, UPS 948, uh, Selection Russia. Hello, Salt Lake, Air Transport 3304, Level 370. Air Transport 948, uh, do you have a map? Uh, go ahead. UPS 948, I've got another uh, uh, UPS flight that's uh, northbound to Boise. And uh, they are reporting some anomalous uh, white lights that are uh, kind of off and on. Uh, they would be anywhere from your, oh, I would say 1 o'clock to, or I'm sorry, uh, 10 o'clock to 1 o'clock, and I think they're up pretty high, uh, 60,000 feet or so. If you see anything like that, just please let me know. You said not to be able to the top right now. It's uh, moving at a high rate of speed. There's two of them. UPSC 34, do you have any idea what the general uh, direction might be that they're heading? Right now it's at our 04, no, 060. Orbiting in a circle. You said 060 zero, zero, orbiting in a circle. Okay, they're, they're, uh, they're going down, but uh, it's probably over, right over the, uh, if it were, like, if I'd say it's right over those restricted areas. But. And you think UPSA 34, you think they're uh, clear over by the uh, Bonneville VOR? That's, that's the general direction right now. I only assess it. All right, UPS 948, do you see anything like that off your uh, off your uh, nine o'clock? Okay. Uh, not at this time. Can you put it on Okay, thanks. 
I'm assuming they're off again. FedEx 1839, you see anything like that? Uh, we, we saw it a second time, but, but to us, we're only seeing from our angle one, it looks like one light out there intervention. Okay, and um, do you confirm that it would be uh, up, up pretty high? Yeah, that's confirmed that it's FedEx 1879. get a general idea of where in the sky it might be. So if you see it out ahead of you again, please let me know. Okay, FedEx 1879. And FedEx 1879, uh, cross null at maintain 17,000, Salt Lake altimeter 3029. Cross null at maintain 17,000, 3029 on the altimeter, FedEx 1879. Uh, UPS 952, if you would change to my frequency, 132.25. 3225 at 952. 952 is up uh, 13225. UPS 952. If you, uh, Roger, thanks. And if you would uh, also look off to your, uh, off your, uh, to your left there, um, anywhere from I guess uh, eight to nine, or eight to twelve o'clock, I guess at this point. Um, uh, see if you see any intermittent white lights that might be uh, off and on, um, maybe fast-moving lights out there. Yeah, we've been listening in. We're, we're looking. We haven't seen anything yet. We'll let you know. Right, thanks a lot. Right. Okay, Roger. Roger. Thanks. Roger. Thanks. Uh, Roger. Thanks. Roger. Thanks. Roger. Thanks. Roger. Thanks. Uh, UPS 992, Salt Lake Center. Roger. And you'd be at 34, are they on again? Yeah, they're still real faint, but there's, there were two of them when I called them on. FedEx 1879 looks like the, that light activity um, will be off to your left now, um, is what I'm guessing, anywhere from uh, 9 o'clock to 12 o'clock. That's not 
you guys for me. FedEx 1879 is leaving 372. FedEx 1879, Rex. UPS 992, Silla. Uh, go ahead for 992. Yeah, UPS 992. If you would um, keep an eye out. Uh, off your right wing, anywhere from your, uh, I would guess, uh, 2 to 3 o'clock. Um, going to be some uh, white, intermittent white lights that might be uh, going off and on. Um, maybe uh, lights that uh, are fast moving, circling each other. Um, yeah, again, like off to the east, um, possibly in the Bonneville uh, area just west of Salt Lake. If you see anything out there, uh, please let me know. And it, it should be a high altitude uh, above 60,000 or so. Okay. Yeah, uh, we'll, uh, we'll keep an eye out. What is it? We don't know. Uh, your company, another uh, UPS aircraft, just spotted it about your same position here about uh, 20 minutes ago or so and uh, have been reporting it off and on um, ever since. Uh, and then last night I worked the same shift. I had another American Airlines um, uh, from Anchorage heading down to uh, Dallas-Fort Worth, and uh, they picked it up around the Boise area and something followed them basically at the 9 o'clock, trailed them all the way at least to the Colorado border of Utah. Um, it, it was white lights and then turned to red light. But, yeah, so kind of interesting. We're just kind of, kind of trying to figure out more about it. Okay, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll keep that. We'll watch out for that. Air Transport 3304. Well, you've got our curiosity. I wondered if we might end up in the vicinity of some of that flight activity once we get southeast of Boise on our track. Uh, Air Transport 3304, stand by. 
Transport 3304, um, <clears throat> you're a little bit north of all that. Uh, last night, though, uh, we did have an aircraft in your general area. They're a little bit south of your track, maybe about 30 miles south of your track, uh, and heading down. Uh, they were heading kind of south of Salt Lake area. But anyways, um, yeah, you might see some of that out there. If you would just keep an eye out, it, it would possibly be off to your anywhere from your 12 o'clock to uh, 3 o'clock. And like I said, it's kind of maybe off to the west of the Salt Lake area. And uh, the reports indicate that it might be high altitude, uh, 60,000 feet or so. But yeah, if you see any kind of intermittent white lights moving fast, uh, if you see anything like that out there, just let me know. We'll certainly do that. The light pollution from the moonlight on that direction might hinder that, but we're going to keep our eye out. Yeah, if we see anything, we'll let you know. Thanks, 3304. Yeah, thanks a lot. And UPSA 34, change to my frequency 128.05. 128.05, UPSA 34. EPSA 34, Roger, and uh, descendant policy discretion maintain 17,000, the Boise altimeter 3035. UPSA 34, okay, thanks. Uh, UPS 92, you see anything out there? Uh, 050 uh, heading. Contact uh, Salt Lake Approach now, 128.1. FedEx 1879, contact Salt Lake Approach, 128.1.
And transport 3304, yeah, that, uh, that light would be anywhere from your 12 o'clock to 3 o'clock. We can pick up a singular light at about 11 o'clock right now. And I honestly think that what we think of might be 3304. Okay, and does it appear to be moving? It's not moving, it's just changing in intensity with the prices. Okay, and uh, I was, uh, let's see, I was talking to air transport there. Did somebody else uh, call? UPSA 34, did you uh, did you say something there? Yeah, they're going about five pieces. And I, I missed the very last of that second. Really bad. They're they're no no longer at seven now. We got a third piece in here, so we're departing uh, 360 UPSA 34. UPSA 34, Roger. Yeah, I'll try to I'll try not to bug you any more about it. But you said it was moving fast. Yeah, uh, I don't know how far away it is. It's, it's, Okay, but still at zero six zero. Uh, probably about zero five zero now. Okay, thanks a lot. FedEx 1879, Tully. And Air Transport 3304, uh, when you saw the lights out there, what relative position was it? Yeah, you can pretty much disregard that previous report from us for 3304. I think that's just uh, the direction we're going with a rising star that was changing in intensity. Now it's just fixed. Air Transport 3304, okay, thanks.
Uh, EPS 948 contact Oakland Center 127.95. 127.95, EPS 948. EPS 838 Center. EPS EPS 638, 380. EPS 838. Uh, EPS 838, Salt Lake Center, how do you hear me? Hey, you off quick? EPS UPS 834 contact Big Sky Approach on 119.6. Approach UPS 834. Hey, and thanks for all your uh, input there. And UPS 92, you haven't seen anything out there? And uh, UPS 92, no, sorry, uh, sorry to let you down. I, I, we, we've been looking, we haven't seen anything. UPS 92, okay, yeah, yeah, thanks a lot. And UPS 92, you can now change to my frequency 121.15. 121.15, UPS 92. Uh, UPS 92, Roger, thanks a lot. And UPS 952, you can now contact Oakland Center 127.95. 2795, uh, UPS 952, uh, UPS 92, you're in the right spot. It was for your company, 952. Any conversation? 
Air Transport 3304, traffic total clock and 35 miles westbound, Boeing 757, at total 380. We're looking 3304. UPSC 38, uh, traffic total clock and uh, 35 miles eastbound, heavy Boeing 767, at total 370. UPSC 38, Air Transport 3304. Thank you, PSA 38. We've got traffic 30 blocks. EPSA 38, Roger, thanks. Air Transport 3304, you can now contact Salt Lake Center, please, 128.35. 2835, that would be one Air Transport 3304. Yeah, thanks a lot.